Today, we'll be testing out both the Desert Eagles, the .50 GS and the GS Manga or Manga or whatever. And if you're wondering why there's two different versions of the Deagle, these ones are single fire and these ones are fully automatic. So we'll be testing how good they are in zombies and which one's better than the other. And of course, as always, we'll also be getting the camos for them as well. And in preparation, I went ahead and I played a game ahead of time and left a tombstone with a good amount of cash for us. But testing this out on some tier one zombies, um, they don't really one shot unless you're hitting them in the head, which uh, seems pretty fine for a deagle, honestly. But well, that's just our single shots. What about our full autos? So you can still single shot these bad boys, but if you hold down, uh, I don't know. It's not looking too promising on these. Let's grab our tombstone. Let's use some of our perks. And before we upgrade these weapons at all with our Pack-a-Punch crystals or Aether tools, I want to try this against a tier two zombie really quick. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Kringle for suggesting these because without it, I would have completely forgot deagles were in this game. All right, we're in tier two. Where's the zombie we can test these on? There we go. They're finally spawning in. All right, let's do our single shots first. They're not really doing a crazy amount of damage. I mean, it can chunk a little bit. Like you can still get some kills here in the tier two zone. But I don't think I'd recommend it. And what about our full auto? Even worse, actually. That trade-off and fire rate is uh, really affecting the damage output. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and up the damage output. And the Pack-a-Punch camo does not look very good on these. It just looks like a jumbled mess. But while they're Pack-a-Punched, still not even a one-shot. Did armor tank all that damage? Okay, well, it does one-shot zombies that don't have armor. And it breaks it if they do. What about our autos? These are the ones that desperately need help. These autos just might be trash. Are these not scaling with Pack-a-Punch? That's so weird. So let's go ahead and make our way over to the tier three zone and get these pack three and grab any perks that we're missing on the way. Now, we don't know how these are going to do against the Mega Abomination or any bosses yet, but here are my builds for both the single fire deagle and the full auto deagle. So let's get these pack three. Let's go down. Even though I threw a decoy, you assholes, get away from me. And even at pack three, these auto deagles can't really take out the zombie. That's very concerning. And if you notice their Pack-a-Punch names, they're called Great Shot and Good Shot. Right now, from what I'm seeing, these are mid shot. No way it took that many shots to take down a Hellhound. Wait, did I not get the... Okay, no wonder. I didn't get the Auto Deagles Pack 3. Why do I always do this? I hop on here and I have a mental collapse. I swear I grabbed them. Right, let's just go do it again. There we go. Now let's see what they can do. Zombies, where are you guys going? Okay, that's a brain rot. That don't count. What about you guys? These are still pretty ass. I don't like these at all. I'm not gonna lie. I can already go ahead and guess which one of these is gonna be better. Well, let's go ahead and grab the rest of our perks. Maybe these will help out. Let's not go down again. I've already used way too many self revives, but it does look like these are at least on par with each other in terms of ammo count. You get 26 bullets in each mag with 195 reserve on both of them. Oh no. Huge downfall of using two akimbo weapons is now that my frenzy guard has been activated. It's stuck on my screen until I drop one of them. That's so lame. They really got to fix that. All right, let's just skip right over doing our whole like a mega abomination hunt where we just wander around tier three and none spawn. So we'll just do a bounty and see if we go in there. Yep, perfect. All right, what's up, Mega Bomb? I need you to stay back, Hellhound. I'm trying to see how these do. Oh, shoot, it's laser right off the bat. We're getting a little bit of health off him. We broke his face, but we got taken down with it. That's fine. I'll take a beheading if I got to exchange a self-revive for it. That was just with our single shot deagles. They seem to be packing a, a pretty decent amount of damage to him. Oh, he's actually shooting lasers today. Look at that. Our full auto deagles, though, not so much. Let me throw a cashmere real quick. Get all these zombies away from me. Let's see if we can actually do some damage to them. These are awful, actually. I think the Storm Ender might do more damage to them. Oh, and he's shooting another laser. Now's our time. Our time to reload and go down. Fuck, dude. We're throwing. Down to our last self-revive already. Let me see if I can squeeze in buying one. We just gotta be fast. Gear. Self-revive. Got it. Oh, he's shooting another laser. And we can't quite get away. Oh, and another one. Back to back. This is like the exact opposite of our last fight with them. We're using the Basilisk. The Basilisks. He shot no lasers. Now he's doing them back to back. He's got to keep us guessing. Oh, we already got him down to half health. All using the single shot deagles, basically. All right, come on, you, you fat fuck. Shoot another laser, I dare you. Oh, fuck. You don't need to shoot a laser when he's biting the shit out of me. There's the laser. That's what we're talking about. Ooh. 
He's only got a quarter of his health left, though. I think we just blew up one of his faces, too. We got some helpful Harrys coming in, and they just activated a turret. Damn it. All right, well, I think we are still killing him regardless. I need your help. Get the fuck out of here, cocksucker. All right, let's go take a visit to the Stormcaller, and then we'll get to camo grinding. All right, what's up, Stormcaller? What are these doing to you? Not a whole lot, and I can't seem to be accurate enough to break his hand. I'm fucking trying, though. But you know what? With an insta-kill... That's the perfect thing to add to this gun. This is one of the best guns in the game with insta-kill. Not actually, but it's the only thing that actually helps it do something. The Stormcaller is just tanking everything. It's going to take like every bullet we have if we want to kill him. And I think he just got all the health back in the world. Yeah. Holy shit. Out of ammo. This guy's a bastard. Yeah, I think I might just take the L on the Stormcaller. This sucks, dude. He's too strong. Oh, well. Time to camo grind. Because for both of these guns, we need to get 250 kills with them. And then we need like 250 kills with a rare or higher rarity on one. And then for our auto deagles, we need to get 10 kills without letting go of the trigger 10 times. Or 5 kills 10 times. So let's try to knock that out real quick. And then for both of these weapons, we need to use a certain ammo mod. I think for our single shot deagles, we need napalm burst and for our full autos we need dead wire so what do we get out of this neither oh and another camo challenge we need is 10 mangler kills with our single shot deagle i think i got everything right well, i guess we'll find out by the end of this game if we got gold or not what we got in here oh electric so which ones are full auto these let's throw that on there now we just need to find napalm burst and we need to keep dropping our weapons to get rid of our screen effects i'll do this last nest and then if i can't get it maybe a mangler will drop napalm burst for us is napalm burst in here though it is perfect beautiful exactly what we're looking for let's get to an x fill oh what oh that's so stupid i had to drop this just to get the visual effects off my screen and then drop napalm burst oh wait now they both just don't have ammo mods what the fuck they just deleted themselves that's so stupid i also haven't even seen a single camo pop up for these guns yet so either i really don't have a whole lot of kills this game or they're bugged which wouldn't surprise me all right let's start grinding these what as if it couldn't get any worse now we're checking for update dude oh that's bullshit everything's gone and all my insured weapon slots are being taken up i guess we'll be back when our mobile game timers are done okay our cooldowns are finally over we can hop back in and since we technically didn't die and it just kicked us out of the game we still have our tombstone from last time so we still have some stuff to grab and it kind of worked for the best because now i can just apply these ammo mods onto our guns we just cannot drop them and i guess it's fine that we had to wait for our whole insured weapon slot thing because by time we got booted out of that game the lions game had started so i went and watched that the lions cowboys game and i'm not gonna get too into the weeds with it but the refs definitely botched that one it was definitely 68 taylor decker that reported eligible not dan skipper number 70 and it was not an illegal formation if the refs would have called who was eligible correctly lions were screwed again but i'm not gonna go too crazy into it this is a zombies video i'll probably talk about it more in the next multiplayer video after the launcher video because i recorded that before the game if you're interested in uh hearing what a lions fan has to say about it all right it's time to grind these camos out. All of our mangler kills are done. There's our 250 kills with it. Our 250 kills with rare or higher. There's our 250 kills with fire damage. Okay. Now onto the autos. There's our 250 kills with the autos. There's our 250 hip fire kills. There's our kills without releasing the trigger. And there's our 250 kills with electric damage. So all we need to do now is exfil with these guns and we'll get it done. Could be just as easy. I hop on this helicopter where you go get golden ivory. But I got unfinished business. I don't like that guy stepping in earlier and taking out that mega abomination with the deadbolt turret. I want to do it on my own. I got to blow off some steam. Uh-uh. Stop lasering me, bitch. We're not doing that. No head for you. Just need some perks, though. Oh, I couldn't get them all. I, we're still missing uh, elemental. Ooh, I need a frenzied here, but this is going to stay on my screen the whole game. I've been trying to avoid it. I guess it's fine if I drop my weapons now and we lose our ammo mod, but I'd rather not. I like the little extra damage. So a quick decoy. That way we can buy elemental. There we go. All right, now back to business. We've already got him like, what, a, a third of his health gone? At half now. I don't know what changed this time around. It's got to be the fucking anger in me. The mega bomb can feel it. But I'm also shooting a bit slower this time around in like alternating shots. Trying to be a little more accurate with it. I think maybe the more I was shooting, the more recoil I was getting. And the less damage I was doing because obviously my shit wasn't connecting. Come on, we're going to have to ego this laser. There we go, we broke his fucking face. Woo! Barely survived it too. Don't fucking bite me, stay back. I can still hear him chomping at me. I can see a shadow too. And now he's charging fuck off dude oh uh, we got 
Fucking 32 total bullets and we went down right there. Damn. Okay. They're going to be distracted for a second. So I'm going to throw a monkey bomb. Get them away from me. And now it's just me and you, buddy. And maybe some elites. Oh, no. We're fully out with our single shots. And these autos aren't doing it. Yeah, I'll be right back. We just had to grab ammo one time during this fight. Assuming he don't disappear. What's up, fucker? It's time. Time for you to go to sleep. Get drop shot it too. I had to go for it. We still got self revives though. We're fine. Fuck him. And he should be dead right here. Unless he charges me and stuns me. Please die. I'm going all out just to get this kill. There we go. Finally fucking got him. That felt better. That felt like more of a convincing kill. I'm glad I came back for it. And they still took me out. Fuck all you zombies. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use a jug on the rest of these elites. They got to learn a lesson. I'm leaving me alone. Oh, one's brain rotted. That helps out. There we go. Quick little jug. Fuck all these zombies. Especially you, Mangler. Any other zombies around want to get some? This guy over here. Bastard. Hellhound. Also dead. Yeah. This area is clear now. I own this area, bitches. All right, that's a successful exfil, and that should be gold. Where is it? I don't see the gold camo. Oh, wait, is it on this page? You're darn tootin'. All right, this is what our single shot deagles look like with golden ivory on them. Not bad looking, and they weren't a bad weapon either. They did very well. They they seemed to one shot or do at least a high amount of damage to the, a lot of the tier three zombies. And we took out a mega abomination with them pretty easily. As for the full auto deagles, which you can't really even tell a difference looking at them, they were like the exact opposite. The fire rate to damage trade off is not worth it. Yeah, sure, the fire rate's cool and it works very well when you're in like the tier one zone and you're like highly pack a punch and upgraded, but so does every other weapon. So uh, nothing special, but yeah, I know, kind of fun gun. At least seems fun in theory, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. Happy new year. And uh, if you think that was an illegal formation, you don't know ball. All right, good night. Goodbye, everybody. Later.